My name is Dennis Prenvall. I work as the Franchise Design Director at DICE in Stockholm on Star Wars Battlefront. The process of bringing things over from Battlefront 1 into Battlefront 2 is surprisingly long and cumbersome in that Battlefront 2 is sitting on a more recent version of the Frostbite engine. And we love the Frostbite engine and we develop in it really well. But it's always hard when you're making hardware or like version updates to then easily just port things. You can't just copy paste things over. It's as easy as it would be. So that means we're not saving much time by porting something over, especially for characters. We have an entirely new character system in Battlefront 2 because we needed to build something that was a lot more flexible when it comes to the responsiveness of physical abilities. Like if you remember Battlefront 1, when you did a force choke or you try to do a force push, uh, the only way to make it like really feel like you're tossing someone was if they died. So that's why you could one shot troopers all the time with, with everything they were doing, so that we could trigger Ragdoll and then they just fling them away and then it looked cool. But when Darth Vader tried to force choke Luke, or when Luke tried to force push Vader, it was just like a little, like you just nudged him barely, caused some damage, and that was everything that that character system was able to do. But in Battlefront 2, we really wanted you to be able to pick up a hero or a villain and throw him away, and then he can, that person can stand up again and you can continue fighting. So then we needed an entirely new system, which meant that we pretty much needed to rebuild the, the characters from scratch in Engine. It does save some time when it comes to the 3D model, but even a 3D model then needs to be rigged and animated and set up properly. So it's outside of, of reusing the, the 3D model, we're not gaining that much. So then we don't feel like we want to be slaves to content that's come before that our fans uh, might have already been excited for and wouldn't be as excited for again. We're talking about like, you know, a week or two of savings versus the benefit of adding something that's completely new that our players will be really excited for because they haven't seen it in a dice game before. So that's always the trade-off.